So hey guys, I saw a uh, YouTube video recently that stirred some drama and some controversy and tried to expose me, but there was really nothing to expose. And so they tried to vilify me in that video. Uh, but I'm here to set the record straight because there are always two sides to a story. And today I'll be presenting some facts that were omitted in that video and that dramatically change the narrative. So I'll be presenting those facts and also sharing my opinion. So you want to stick around all the way till the end because again, uh, I want to give you guys my opinion and set the record straight. So first of all, to give you a background story. So I had reached out to a brand because on my channel, well, a lot of brands reach out to me and sometimes I reach out to brands as well. And through the uh, many comments that I often read and you, go, you guys know I like to respond to your comments on YouTube, I had noticed a few viewers who wanted me to look into a ceramic coating from a specific company. And so I had never heard of that brand, but I did a, a bit of research on YouTube and found that a fellow YouTuber had reviewed that ceramic coating. So I decided to reach out and ask if they had a contact. Sure enough, they did. And so they were able to give me the contact of the owner of that brand. And so I uh, communicated with the owner and we started exchanging emails and there were phone, cons, full co phone calls as well. And so, um, so that's a bit of the backstory. So I wanted to make a review of the product. So I gave that person my terms. So we exchanged, again, emails and, and phone calls. And that conversation at one point uh, went south for reasons that are un unknown to me. Uh, but what was funny in that YouTube video is that that brand tried to make it seem as if they never pay for sponsored content, uh, which is not the case because in those exchanges of emails, there was an offer for commissions and I'm going to read that email and also put it on the screen for you guys to see. Uh, I'm going to read it out loud. So thanks for getting back to me. So this is the owner of that brand. I'm not interested in paying out of my pocket for reviews at this time. What I might be interested in is a royalty type scenario. We can build a funnel, track sales from your video and pay you money amount per bottle sold. It would be easy to track. The risk is it doesn't do well and you don't get your 10K. The reward is it does super well and you get well over your 10K. Give it some thought and let me know. Thank you. So this is a thing that was omitted in the previous video. So they were at some point offering money for the, the, the review, which I don't mind because this is an agreement between brands and as long as things are properly disclosed, there should be no issues. I also don't have any issues if brands end up saying, well, listen, we don't have the budget for that or that's not the way we roll, that's fine. But so the conversation turned south and at one point the, uh, the owner said, listen, I'm retracting my offer, but there was no offer to retract because I never actually agreed to make the final video. And the reason being because in that uh, statement or agreement as well, what I always put as a clear statement is that the products need to meet my criteria for quality and value. And if they don't meet those uh, criteria, well, I simply don't do the video. So even though there was, I always disclose terms of an agreement, this is for the two parties to have kind of a clear uh, showing or of where this might be going and what, and what are the terms. I still need to test the products because that's one point of my videos. I only produce videos for content, for products that I actually love and like to use and you see them, they're still on my shelf and I use them all the time and I partner up with brands that I actually believe in. Uh, so I found that that brand now took those emails, which are a private exchange between two parties, right? And they decided to share that with that YouTuber on that other channel. So I find, and that's my personal opinion, that that's a very low level and shady marketing tactics uh, to kind of what expose me, but they omitted so many uh, such information that was crucial for people to get a proper opinion that that stirred some controversy surrounding all of this. And that brand was saying that we never pay for content when in actuality they did offer a commission based type of payment for the for the video and again i refused in the end i would i did not accept that offer even though that person said i'm retracting my offer which is weird i said listen i have never accepted your offer so there's nothing to retract and then the name calling started and i won't get into the details but i didn't appreciate it was totally unprofessional and i asked that they stop communicating with me and in the light of the situation, I'm glad I did not partner up with that brand in the end because this level of low level stuff and which I find also it's unethical practices, if you ask me, that's my personal opinion once again, of sharing those emails between two parties to another YouTuber. What is the purpose behind all that? Now, uh, to go to that YouTube channel now with the uh, kind of accusations that were in that video, one of the points being that 
hinting that sponsored videos equals biased. Now I will speak for myself. When I do sponsored videos, guys, first of all, I always disclose them in the video and also in the description under the video. And just don't take my word for it. You can go ahead and watch my videos. They're always clearly marked if they are sponsored, as everyone should do. It's just the right thing to do. Now, some will say some YouTubers might not disclose that. I'm not here to talk about any other channels. I'm here to talk about myself. So I always disclosed sponsored content and will continue to do so. So the viewer is properly informed and you guys can take the decision if you want to watch the video or not. Now, the other kind of weird hinting or accusation is that there might be unsponsored content with content creators or product reviewers, because now they were broader and saying there are many out there also that do that, that unsponsored content is actually paid for or that is actually sponsored. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? Now, I don't understand, again, speaking for myself, why would someone do that? Uh, it's so easy to do. If you do a sponsored video, you just disclose that, end of story. So for me, I find that's a moot point and I don't understand where that comes from. So once again, I wanna reiterate, when I do sponsored content, it is clearly noted in the video as well as in the description under the video. Heck, I remember there was a time where people were saying, well, are you only doing sponsored videos? Because there was a lot of them. So you can't have it both ways. You can say that you're doing sponsored content and then while well, sometimes you're not disclosing that you're doing sponsored content, like I don't understand that. Um, and the other thing I want to mention is that when I produce videos, I keep full control of the content of my videos. And that is one thing I always stress uh, during my discussions too, is that the brands have no influence on my content. That is key. And when talking about sponsored videos, guys, um, my channel reached a point now where it's one of the biggest YouTube channels in the world for the detailing section or the detailing industry. So we have over 611,000 subscribers, I think at this point, and over 70 million views. And I have you guys to thank for that. Uh, you have been a tremendous support, by the way, uh, from the get-go. So it's been almost five years now that I publish YouTube videos. And um, so I have a large global audience, right? And if I partner up with a brand, well, they have access to that. So they don't pay for a review. What they pay for is the exposure. So the ability for me to access that broad audience, that global audience, or that wide audience. So this is what is nice in a partnership. And so the other thing I want to say is that, well, partnerships often happen everywhere on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, you guys know, on TV as well. You can look just at celebrities, right? Um, and, and, and sports athletes and so on and so forth. And I have no issues with that, again, as long as they're properly disclosed. So if you let the viewer know that it's a sponsored review, it's up to them to decide if they want to watch it or not, if they want to take it with a grain of salt or not. And that's totally normal. But if you guys don't know also, I recently took the decision to focus on my YouTube channel full time. So that is a huge responsibility. And you guys have noticed as well, I just for the comments alone, I spend hours a day responding to comments personally. I still do that despite uh, having all these subscribers sending thousands of emails and messages on all platforms every day uh, on YouTube alone. I can spend three to four hours a day just responding to comments. So focusing on my YouTube channel full time means that it has become my main source of income. And if I wanna continue to produce videos at a high level, I recently also changed uh, equipment and all that stuff. I have to reinvest in the brand, in the business, business uh, and while it's my livelihood, obviously, while well, that goes through brand sponsorships. As long, again, as they're properly disclosed, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So partnerships between influencers and brands happen all the time in all the industries and this will continue to happen, but it has to be done right. That is my opinion. And as long as you do things correctly, you, um, you basically um, fully disclose that you do some sponsored content. Uh, once again, not all my videos are sponsored, but when they are, I fully disclose it. So you guys are always aware. And my promise to you is that not only did I do that in the past to fully disclose, but I will continue to do so. There is no reason for a channel the size of mine at this point to play around with gimmicks and these kinds of things. If it's a sponsored video, it's a sponsored video. It's out there and that is it. Uh, so yeah, partnering with brands, that just means opportunities. And once again, 
I only partners with uh, partner up with brands in, uh, that produce products that I actually like, that I actually use, that I test, and that are in my detailing arsenal. And uh, you can rest assured also that there are tons of brands that reach out all the time. You can just imagine, put yourself in my shoes. I think FedEx, UPS, and DHL, or all these other shipping companies, they probably ring at the door once or twice a day. And so I receive tons of products. I go through hundreds and probably thousands of products a year, testing and testing, and probably over 80% of them don't even see day on my YouTube channel. Because once again, I don't present products that I don't like. Now I only do, well, some people will say, well, they're always positive, your videos. Yes, they're positive because that's who I am. I'm a positive individual. I do not focus on negativity. I think there's enough of that on the internet or in the world out there. And I just do not give time to products I don't like or brands I don't respect or I don't appreciate. So I, I hopefully that's clear. By the way, I wanna encourage my viewers that when you watch some YouTubers or influencers, Take what they say with a grain of salt and go watch what others have to say as well. And I'll tell that to you guys, although you love following my videos, you can go ahead and watch what other content creators are doing to kind of have a global picture of what's going on and make up your own mind so ultimately you're the one making the purchase decision. What I try to do at the end of the day is help you navigate through this crazy detailing world where it seems that there are new brands and new products every day, guys, uh, and, it, and there's more and more of that, right? So we're in a, a time now, a period in time, where there's a lot of pop-up brands, new brands, new products, new excitement, new technologies, and I wanna keep you guys updated. Another thing I wanted to say is that uh, it can also happen that some products that work for me with my experience, with uh, my environment, my conditions, might not work for someone. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. There are many variables that you cannot control. Is it a daily driver? Is it a weekend driver? Uh, is it a car that's garage kept? Is it exposed to the elements? Do you live in a climate where it's warm and hot? Or do you live in a climate like we have here in Montreal, Canada, where we have crazy winters and road salts and all that? And the opposite is true as well. There might be another fellow YouTuber that raves about a product, actually loves it, it works well for them, but it might not work for me or it might not work for you. And again, you don't see me going out there and starting to bash people or make videos about that. That's not what I am about. Uh, everyone is free, entitled to their opinion. They're free to their own testing uh, and the way they do stuff. And you know what, in the end, I'm okay with that. But what I am not okay with is people who try to expose uh, content creators such as myself without presenting all the facts. Uh, as you can see, there were things that were omitted that dramatically changed the narrative. And why it took me uh, two days before I came out with this response is that I didn't want to react out of emotion, so I let things decant uh, and I processed stuff. And I also, first of all, want to thank you guys for your support. So many of you reached out through emails and DMs and all that stuff. Uh, I know I didn't have time to respond to everybody because my, my accounts were flooded with support um, in private messages and, and emails and all that stuff. Uh, but also some brands reached out, highly appreciated as well. And fellow YouTubers showed me their support. Um, again, through all those emails and it means a lot, guys. I really, really appreciate it. But in the end, what I really want you guys to know is never believe one side of the story. There's a lot of negativity out there and um, who knows what the intentions are behind those videos of trying to expose people. Sometimes I believe when you point your finger towards somebody, you might be trying to steer the attention away from yourself for some reason, so that's food for thought. Think about that. Once again, today, I exposed the facts. I gave you my side of the story because there are always two sides to a story. Never believe what you hear on the internet without getting the global picture, right? And also, one thing I want you to remember is that I am passionate about car detailing, guys. So the goal of my channel is to share my passion, share my knowledge with you guys, and hopefully at the end of the day, uh, if you had um, lost your passion for detailing, where I rekindled it, or I helped rekindle it for you, or I gave you the detailing bug for you to go out there and enjoy detailing your vehicles, that's what I'm all about. And at the end of the day, if you learned a thing or two through my tutorials or product reviews, or just the funny stuff that I do as well, well, I'm happy. And if I entertained you along the well, I have accomplished my mission. So that is it, guys. I can promise you another thing. I will continue to make the best possible video for you, videos for you guys. Keep on producing awesome content. I am super laser focused 
on continuing to grow this awesome channel and continuing to grow the Pandy Organizer family, right? This is not the end of it. This is just the beginning. One million subscribers, here we come. By the way, there's tons of you all around the world who follow my channel. And once again, I appreciate each and every one of you. And you have seen it. Read the comments. You're going to see Pandy Organizer on the YouTube channel is there to still respond personally. That's how much I value your time and the fact that you just think my content is good. So um, yeah, let's put this drama. Well, at least I want to put this drama behind me. Um, and so I was, I was like, do I do a video? Do I not? I think it's important to take a stance against what I believe to be, or my opinion, cyberbullying. I, I do not tolerate that and I don't appreciate that. And being treated in that way, I think was uncalled for. And so now you have my version of the story. You do whatever you want with it. Uh, but anyways, you can share this video if you want to share it. We got to spread the word uh, around to uh, set the record straight right. But I want to leave you on a positive note, being that I hope you guys are staying safe. We're still in this global pandemic with COVID. Uh, it, it is crazy. So hopefully, yeah, you guys are staying safe. And more importantly, hopefully you're still enjoying my videos, enjoying to detail your cars. Go out there. It's beautiful out here. I know I want to go out and uh, wash my vehicle. By the way, Special things coming, not only this week, but very soon. Keep on being subscribed to my channel and uh, just share the love. Hopefully you guys learn a lot and are entertained, like I said once again. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, as I always say, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.